Hey everyone, as we can continue our discussion about the Oak Ridge discipleship process, today I want to talk about the arrow down here in the left-hand corner, and it is the arrow sharing. Part of being a disciple of Christ is as we grow in our faith and as we're serving. Now remember, our process is a circle because we believe that we continually are growing in our faith. We keep on serving. And the third arrow, shall we say, is that it has to do with sharing. From the time we become a follower of Christ and that we are taken home to be with the Lord, one of the things that we do as followers of Christ, as a disciple of his, as a student of his, is that we share with others what God has done in our life. When it comes to sharing, uh, Jesus, before he, he returned to heaven, left us some instructions in Matthew chapter 28. He said, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I've commanded you. And behold, I'm with you always to the end of the age. And that is a, uh, a command for all of us. Uh, we, have, we live in a broken, hurting world. We know that. All we'd have to do is look around and we see that. And we're the ones, if we're followers of Jesus, that have the remedy to the brokenness. And it's a relationship with Christ. And so when it comes to discipleship at Oak Ridge, here's what we encourage people to do. When we do a outreach event, for example, our hopefully, Lord willing, our coming up fall event of uh, our, call it our trunk or treat, invite people to that. People that you know who maybe are unchurched but have children, invite them to come to that event. Take that opportunity as they then get an op a chance to make some connection with people from our church. We have done on it before and we'll do it again on learning how to share our faith learn how to give our story in, in just a couple of minutes, be able to share our testimony. Here's what my life was like before Christ. Here's what made me come to realize I needed a relationship with Christ. And now how, is, how does my life look now? Being able to just share your story with someone is very important. And another way that we share is by showing God's love in action. Uh, we are called to reach out to people, help the hurting, show compassion, meet needs. And it's one way that we share, and that is look for opportunities to help others. And so there's, these are just a few of the examples when it comes to that part of discipleship, of sharing. We want others to hear and to know and to see about God's love and what it can do in a person's life. We'll finish up next video on investing and we'll explain what that means. Thanks for being with me.